Jesus died for us. He is touched in every way, shape, and form as humans just as we are. But he is the Son of God. The Bible says he's the only begotten. That word begotten actually means unique. He's the only unique Son of God. There are many sons of God. The Bible says Adam was a son of God. The Bible says that uh, the heavenly beings, the celestial beings, they are sons of God. The Bible tells us that we become sons of God as we grow in Christ. So there are many sons of God, but he's the unique son of God in that he is God in the flesh. He is Emmanuel with us, God in the flesh with us. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, he's the Lord of everything, meaning he is Jehovah. He is Yahweh. Jesus is Lord. And if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God, and it is by confessing with your mouth that you are saved. Once you believe, you're right with God. Once you speak it, it's yours. If you never speak, you're kind of in a quasi land. Maybe they're saved, maybe they're not. But I know this, in order to possess it, you've got to confess it. You've got to say it to own it. Amen? And so we need to say, how many of you believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord? That God raised Him from the dead? Amen. Would you say right now, I believe, I believe that, Jesus that Jesus is Lord, is Lord and that God raised Him God raised from, the from the dead. And because of that, because of that I, am saved, I am saved. Even as I speak. It. As I speak Some of us need to get saved lots of times. Uh, <laughs> Just speak it. Over and over and over. You know, I've seen people get saved. I've, I'm a pastor. I've been a pastor in almost 40 years. I've had people come up and get saved a number of times in church. And I say to them, I used to say to them early on, I used to say, you just got saved last week. What are you here for? I didn't say that after a while. I just said, I'm so glad you came up. I'm so glad you came up. Because people go through stuff. Yes, yes. We go through doubts. We go through fears. We go through things. We, we, we don't believe sometimes that it's real. But it's so real. You see, salvation is not, again, do this, do that, do this, do that. Being yes. right with God is not wearing the right clothing, That's not wearing right. the right clothing. That's not what it's all about. It's about believing in your heart yes. and confessing with yes. your mouth yes. that Jesus is Lord and God raised him from the dead. Because of that, you're saved. Thank God you're not saved because you look good. Yeah. Man, if that was the case, there'd only be a few of us saved. <laughs> the rest of them, I don't know where they'd be. You know? And then it's not because you got money. Because I wouldn't be saved either. You know? It's not because you know somebody on the earth. It's because you know somebody in heaven. Amen. It's not what you know, it's who you know. It's because all about nepotism. People getting jobs because of family getting jobs and things like that. And you know what? I'm not against it. Uh, unless they don't qualify for the job. Amen. If they qualify for the job, fine, give them the job, give them a break. I don't mind as long as they're qualifying and things are going properly and things like that. I, I'm fine. You put a good word in for somebody, that's good. Because I know only one thing. When I go before God, I go bef before God because Jesus let me come. Because Jesus opened the door. Yes. Who do you know? Jesus. Jesus. Come on in. What's Amen. the password? Jesus is Lord. Lord. I, I believe it in my heart. Come on in. Amen. Romans 10, 9 and 10, write this. Romans 10, 13. Romans 10. Because even as you share with people, they can still wonder. And Romans 10, 13 says, For everyone that calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone that calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. There's no doubt about it now. So you see, as you're planning to witness to some people, as you're planning on how you're going to share your faith on the job or in school or with your family or whatever, as you're praying and asking God, Lord, show me how to do it. Show me what to do. Give me ideas. Make, help me be creative. I don't want to just bang them on the head. You didn't bang me on the head. How did you get saved? Because somebody banged you on the head? No, because somebody touched your heart. So say, Lord, how do I touch the heart of somebody else? And he'll help you. And then when they're ready, you'll be able to say, let me show you what the Bible says about eternal life. Just eternal life. The Bible will say saved. The Bible will say things like, you just tell them, I want to show you how to have eternal life. And how to...